Hey, this is Daniel Pinchbeck. I'm here for New York Native's Underground Thought Series. I'm here with Ben Lee. Uh, this is his new record, which is called... Ayahuasca. 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 Welcome to the work. So, uh, Ben, uh, what, what, you know, how did you come to make this album? Um, essentially, it was an act of um, gratitude in that me and my collaborator, Jessica Chapman Khan, we'd both been working with a medicine over a few years and felt that growing sense of responsibility and gratitude to give something back. And so we wanted so why, to... Why do you call it the medicine? Because most people don't even really know oh, what it means. Yeah. Um, well, my experience with ayahuasca, and it's it's a very personal experience, so I, I, I always hesitate to generalize, but is that it's been a, a sacred psychological and spiritual experience for me. It's not been something I could at all equate with, you know, recreational drug use or anything. It's a, it's been a process of essentially kind of coming to know parts of myself that are hidden. Mm -hmm. And so there's a very humbling aspect to calling it the medicine in that we have to admit, admit our illness. Because why do you drink medicine? You drink medicine because you're sick. And in a sense, psychologically as a society and individually we are all sick we're all sick with ego and we need help and so my relationship to this medicine is as a tool of unlocking the process of healing that sort of exists within each of us so have you successfully destroyed your own ego no i mean i think of it as like a it's an unending process and an un you know, there's a great quote by chagyam trungpa where he said Med meditation is just one insult after another mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of the process of dealing with the ego the egos and the identities are infinite and they each have bottled up a sense of my own real humanity and potential and creativity so how do you reflect that in the music well, one of the biggest ways that that's reflected in the music was in the actual process. It's the first record I've ever made where there were literally no rules, whether they were aesthetic or... You know, I went into this record not... I've always been... I'm Ben Lee. I make singer-songwriter music, and this next record will have 12 songs with choruses. And, you know, there, there was sort of unwritten rules to what I did. And with this record, it was about holding an atmosphere or an emotional truth, first and foremost in the experience and then doing whatever would serve that musically. So that was a very sort of uh, terrifying death of its own to try and serve something with a whole new palette mm -hmm. of color. And I didn't know initially whether it would have any lyrics on it. And it turns out that I've always been someone that's prided myself on working with words. And that was another very humbling, terrifying process. And it ended up there are words on it, but they're used intentionally and sporadically. and with kind of honor of the power of what words really are. And uh, you, you supported the album in an unusual way, right? You did the Kickstarter crowdfunding. You know, yeah, I did pledge, pledge Music Campaign. And what was, why, why did you do that? What was like the, the value of, of uh, taking that approach? I did it essentially because I knew that there would need to be a very specific approach to the marketing and promotion of this record and it wasn't something I could see fitting in with any uh, model I could see out there of a way to release a record so I'd have to do it on my own and that would involve hiring marketing people and placing ads and paying for my own promotion and as far as so that was the financial side but what I found with Pledge was it actually gave me the opportunity to create an experience of consciousness for the people that wanted to be involved and share not just the music mm -hmm. but my process of making the music and my intention behind it and peripheral tangents I wanted to go on and actually create sort of an intimate experience for people that we're interested in supporting. Certainly in our community in LA, there are a lot of people that take their spiritual practices very seriously. And it's not really that like spirituality is a side hobby that kind of makes you have a full life. and. Hey, I'll add some yoga to that, and I'll add, you know, I'll add some ayahuasca to that. It's really a radical change in the way that a lot of people are doing their life and trying to actually contribute something because. And this includes, you know, kind of like these lionized figures of the culture, like pop stars and movie yeah, well, actors. And yeah, so exactly. Well, you know, we, we were talking yesterday about how, for us, we're sort of discovering on our own how to merge being having at least one foot in the mainstream with trying to bring in an intentional message and something that supports the world moving in a good direction. I know for my daughter and my stepdaughter growing up, they're going to grow up seeing 
Russell Brand doing his thing and hearing, you know, yeah. all these actors doing more charitable things, which are becoming so common now. And they're going to grow up with the assumption that these things go together. So I, I'm kind of excited about the fact that there are more people coming out of the closet as far as their spiritual lives mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the media. Mm -hmm. So this was Daniel Pinchback, uh, excited to be here for New York Natives with... Uh, Ben Lee, who's uh, you got a release uh, concert for the record tonight in New York? Yeah, exactly. And people can download the record on iTunes or find me on Twitter at Ben awesome. Lee Music. Cool. Yeah, Check yeah, it great, out. great to meet you. Thanks, yeah, man. Yeah.